Welcome back to Alpha Preppy. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about filtration systems and disinfection systems. And these two terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but they actually mean rather different things. So as you can see in front of us, we've got filtration systems and we've got ways to disinfect your water. So what we're going to start off with, we're going to look at the filtration systems and then go from there. Okay, guys, let's talk about what actually filtration is. Uh, basically, it's to remove any impurities from the water. So you're talking like silt, twigs, moss, uh, leaves, you know, all the larger debris you find out and about that you probably find in your water source for so if you went to a lake, stream, that kind of thing. But also, filtration can mean to remove such as chemicals, gases, heavy metals, organic compounds, along those lines. So what we have up here in front of us here is something called uh, the... The brown filter bag and it's a copy of the military mill bank bag which is basically just a, a tight weave fabric that's used to filter out the large particulates this ain't going to filter out the chemicals and things like that but this will filter out like your leaves and your silt so what you're meant to do with it you need to get the bag you soak it in water so i've got a bottle just off camera here give it a good soak make sure it's absolutely saturated That's what this does, it tightens up the weave on the bag. I'll hang this up and then we'll fill this with water. Now what this does essentially filters out all the particulates. And this item is really good actually because you can get to you can roll down into nothing. Put it in one of your kits and keep it out of the way. So when you go to a dodgy water source, use this bag, flush out all the heavy particulates, and you're good to go. Don't think that you go to a pond or a stream or a lake or anything like that, that you'll be able to drink it straight away. You won't, you're gonna have to disinfect it somewhere before you do that. Okay, this is the second filter system I wanted to show you. It's an all natural system. Um, so basically we've got uh, a filter cloth on the bottom, like a muslin cloth or a shamag. Uh, carbon filter, um, sorry, activated carbon. We've got coarse sand and we've got some rocks. And all we do, uh, all we put it in is a two litre water bottle. And all we do, like I say, is just hang it up, tip the water in and let it fill through. And once again, this is just to remove any of the larger lumps. So, like your silt and your leaves and your twigs and things like that. And it always takes a little bit of time to go through. And what you find as well, you may have to do it a couple of times because you do the first one and usually it's any sediment or stuff that's left in the bottom will filter through. And you do the second one, it'll start to come out more clearer then. All right, as you can see, there's a bit of sediment in that, but if you put it through once and then put it through again, it should come out clear. So into the tray out and the silts um, stop coming through now and it's just a clear one. So we'll just top this up a bit. Okay, now we've talked about filtration, let's look at disinfecting our water. And what we mean by disinfecting the water is the removal of any microscopic organisms, such as protozoa, so like Giardia and Cryptosporidium, bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli, and viruses like such as Hepatitis A, and norovirus. Uh, right, in front of us we've got a couple of examples of how we disinfect our water. So we've got boiling and a couple of options of uh, chemical disinfectant, so tablets and bleach. Okay, the first option to disinfect your water is, is to boil it. So you want a good rolling boil with 100 degrees C or 212 degrees Fahrenheit for a good couple of minutes. There is some disagreement on how long you should for boiling times, but I would always err on the side of caution and do it for that a uh, bit longer. And as higher up the elevation you go, the more you're gonna have to boil it for. And boiling it will kill that protozoa, the bacteria and the viruses, but once again, it won't remove any of the chemicals that would be in the water. Okay, okay the next option uh, we could use is a chemical treatment for your water. Uh, and here we have some uh, water disinfecting tablets. Uh, basically, what, essentially what you do, you get your tablet, you get your water, you drop it in. There's a litre of water here, and then you let it sit for 30 minutes for it to uh, do its work. 
and um, what you'll find is when you do come to drink it it will taste strong strongly of chlorine so it's not the, most, the best option the most palatable option but it will kill off all the uh, bacteria and protozoa that, that we we discussed now the actual chemical term for it is sodium dichlorosaturate i believe that's pronounced and the way it works is that it the tab actually releases slow concentrate, uh, sorry, releases low concentration of uh, chlorine at a consistent rate within the water. So that's why you've got to leave it for so long for, for it to work. Now, there are other purification tablets out there. There's a whole vast array. So, but these are the ones that I keep in my kit and I use if I ever need to. Right, the second chemical option to disinfect your water is to use regular household bleach. You want the unscented one not the scented one, because in the scented bleach, there's extra chemicals that you just don't want in your drinking water. Now, the rule of thumb is for every litre of water, you add two drops of bleach. But what you want to do first, you want to make sure your water's filtered and it's settled and sat for a bit. And then you add your two drops and then you let your water sit for an hour so that the bleach can do its work to kill off all the bacteria. Now, when you come to your water uh, after the process, it should be a, like a, a faint smell, of bleach within the water. If there isn't, just repeat the process again and, and then come to test it again and it should have a faint smell of bleach. If you find that you know you don't like the, the smell or the flavour of the bleach in the water, just let it sit in the air for a couple of hours and it should negate that, that, that taste and smell. Now we've talked about disinfecting your water and filtering your water, these items here we have in front of us uh, will do both. Um, they're all shop brought, so we've got the Lifesaver Cube, uh, the mini soya, uh, the water to go bottle, and the frontier kind of life straw, I suppose you'd call it. Now, these items uh, are made up, the filters are made up of like things like ceramic, glass fibers, hard block carbon, uh, compressed surgical paper, uh, and these will, like I say, filter and uh, disinfect your water to drink it. Uh, but be aware when you are putting water into these items that the clearer the water, the better because uh, if you've got more silt and debris within the water, it's going to shorten the lifespan of the filter themselves. Okay, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you could give it a thumbs up, it'd be brilliant. And if you subscribe, that would be top draw. So guys, stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one.